All I gotta say, the Yankees suck ass, and I'm visiting Aaron Judge's mom's house tonight. Screw it. Let them pitch fucking all nine innings. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Big win. Some great shit by Springer. The Yankees suck. His business is staying in the Rogers Center and hitting jacks. We're coming back. We're gonna make the playoffs. We got this. Let's fucking go, baby. This is Fan First Network. Blue Jays win 9-2 in their first game against the Yankees in this series. What did you see out there tonight? Well, I saw some great players out there. This is my first Blue Jays game. Oh, yeah. I'm from New Orleans. All I got to say, the Yankees suck ass, and I'm visiting Aaron Judge's mom's house tonight, if you know what I'm saying. Oh! Heading straight there after this interview. Straight there. I got a flight right there, bro. Yep. First class? First class. Oh, my God. Private jet. <laughs> Aaron Judge is a big fraud. Dude, Fucking we came. We, last time we came, the Yankees were playing, and we were ripping on Aaron Judge on here. And then, uh, we're doing yeah, we're doing it again. Doing Yo, it Aaron Judge sucks, dude. Uh, Aaron Judge, 0 for 4, really surprising. I wasn't expecting to see him do that bad, but there's always surprises to an MVP caliber season. Honestly, we finally started hitting the ball. It's a good game. Can't complain. George Springer did not know he had it in him, to be honest. Yeah, Brios pitched really well too. Um, strikeouts were good and the bats finally came alive. Nice to see. I just saw a team that came in there, showed the potential that all these fans in the Rogers Center know that they have, and they just came and they murdered the Yankees. Well, I'm glad that Bichette and Guerrero got some RBIs. Well, they didn't get any R RBIs, but they're starting to hit. That's pretty good. Yeah, I saw just blasphemy. Like, it was Yan Yankees. Listen, within the first inning, the it second was over. inning. It was over. Never in my life have seen anything Dude, like it before. Uh, definitely better effort. I think, you know, after we were on that losing streak, you know, the last several games were pretty terrible. It's kind of a low point. So I think this could be, you have to look at it as a positive and hope that it's the start to something to build on. Yeah, you mentioned George Springer, three for three, two home runs, six RBI, which is a career eye for him. Do you think this is the start of a turnaround for him maybe after the drought he just went through? <laughs> it's only one game. <laughs> better bang on a trash can so you can hit another home run but I'm not sure if that's what they were doing if they're stealing signs again but I have never seen George Springer play that well. well it, it makes up for the cheating that he did on the Astros so. <laughs> He's been really having a struggle this season so you hope that it sort of unlocks and brings him back to his good form. Honestly I think it could because after John Shire, after John Shire took over he got dropped in the lineup. I think now he's showing his performance coming up I think he can get back up to the one. And I think that can honestly start our offense a lot better because without him, our offense has been pretty shit. George Springer's back, baby. George Springer's back. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Bo Bichette, they've both been in trade rumors lately and they've both addressed it publicly in the media. What would you guys think about one or both of them potentially getting traded by the Blue Jays? We're not trading Vladdy, right? Bo? I honestly, I don't know. You consider Bo? He's having, he's having, a, he's having a tough year. I don't know about that, that right now, but... If it, if it continues going after this year, I would maybe next year. I really don't want to see him get traded, but if they don't sign a long-term deal, then they have to get prospects for him. I don't want to see him go, but I think they should just hold on to him and wait till the off season. But they're probably going to get more in a trade. Uh, I like both of them, but I wouldn't like them to see them gone. But you know, it's just a business thing with the league right now. So it really depends where we're going to be around All-Star break. Wouldn't want to. But if we're way behind, we, we might have to consider it. I'd rather keep Guerrero. Keep Guerrero? I love Bo Bichette, but Guerrero's a part of Guerrero's one of us, man. He shapes that team as well. Like, I, I, like, I like Bichette too, but I think he's the one to go. He's uh, too inconsistent. I mean, Vladdy is a great hitter, horrible on defense. One of the worst defensive first basements I've ever seen in my life. I think Bo Bichette is already gone. I don't think he's on the team anymore. He's like a ghost right now. We'll have to wait and see how July goes. And if we're still kind of floundering around 500 or below 500, then you might want to think, is it time to just move on from at least one of them? But yeah, we'll see. Jays win today after getting annihilated yesterday. That's two wins in the series so far. Tell me what you saw. Yesterday was a tough look yeah. and the boys fucking rallied today. They There's did. nothing else you can say. No. Started hot, bats got hot, bats haven't been hot all year. I don't know what to tell you, man. Matt's got hot, That's they rallied, hot. and we had a great day. I saw the Jays put together a half-decent performance. You know, we're not expecting a lot out of them these days, no. right? We're not even looking, we're hoping for 500. Mm. 
So we're just trying to get there. You know, but any day we can take down the Yankees is a good day. I saw the bats coming alive tonight, you know, or not tonight, this afternoon, you know. Definitely good contact, some good hitting. Men were, were kept on base, and then they scored on base. That's what we needed. We cashed in runs. We did not leave people stranded. And also Bassett coming clutch. Jays really hit the ball well, uh, you know. They were just having a hard time getting back in the Yanks, and you know the Jays really took care of business, eh? Honestly, it got a little scary at first with Bassett taking it off the arm. That was fucking scary. But you know what? He bounced back. Had huge innings from Vladdy, from Springer, everyone came out huge. So it's good. Hopefully this jump starts a little run here, and we get back into it. Um, well, Vladdy played played good. He did. Uh, George Springer also played good. Yeah. Chris Bassett had a crazy game. And yeah, um, it's just nice to see the Jays win two out of one in a series so far. I mean, even if even if we lose tomorrow, two and two against the Yankees isn't necessarily terrible. But I mean, it could have been a lot worse, especially seeing how bad the Jays are at hitting. Great performance. They yeah. really they came out, they scored right off the bat. They were great. It was what an awesome game. What about you? What did you see today, buddy? A lot of taking the ball in the air. A lot right. of that. And there's a lot of people who have the balls, right? Because like the person was hitting too hard, and now people will catch it. Yeah, but that means we got a lot of runs today, right? That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Sure. What are you seeing out of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. right now? Do you think this guy's figured it out? He is the only guy we need to re-sign. Sign him Correct. until he's 40 years old. I want to see Vladdy going into the hall in a Blue Jays uniform. That's what I want. Good to see you again, man. It was a hard start to the year. Uh, good to see him rip one early in the day today. Good to see the confidence out of the kid, man. The Jays are going to have to pay him eventually. Yeah. And it's good to see the production. Maybe not day in, day out, but the flashes are there. We just yeah. need to see more than flashes. We got to see it day in and day out. Yes. That's what everybody wants to see out here. What the haircut? That's what's done it. The haircut did it. He yeah. got a haircut. He's a new man. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, that that's what we needed. Vladdy needed a big change. Yeah, fresh cut, you know, feel good, look good. That's what it is. Honestly, that's the, the haircut changed everything. Vladdy's an RBI and dinger machine. It's honestly just the haircut. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> you're the third person to say that to me today. Yes. That's hilarious. Yeah. And the Jays are stuck in that poor Canadian franchise where they never want to pay to be good. So I just hope that they're not sellers at the deadline. They have the team. They've got the potential. All they want to do is be good. We're just trying to be afloat at this point. But again, what you want to talk about who has to go, you don't get to fire three managers. No, you do not, Ross Atkins. You do not. And Atkins, we want bombs. Look, it's fun when you can go out there and say, oh, run prevention this, run prevention that. We want to watch exciting baseball games, yes. and that means runs. We want to score runs. Yeah, it's probably done. But, you know, as always, we can push for a wild card spot yeah. and then hope for the fucking best. We lost six in a row, we can win six in a row. Exactly, yeah. A confident. No, they're they're yeah. not they're not currently a playoff team. Maybe maybe if the bats are how they were today and they keep being like that, yeah. then they are. But right now they're not a playoff team. I would agree. Yeah, like the bats aren't consistent. The pitching is up and down. This team isn't built for a playoff run, unfortunately. This is Fan First Network.